Alright guys, welcome back. Yeah, there was nothing else I could tell Fist really, but keeping him alive did make him appear here, which is fun. Oh, dude, Patriarch's here. Nice. No. You said he had close family. They'll just want revenge. Kill the family first. Then, he'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch. Arius Patriarch. What do you want? What do you know about Arya? Uh, a few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Arya arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. Rumor has it some people want you dead. Know anything about that? Well, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. Someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. I don't matter enough anymore to have enemies of my own. Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor. And a trophy. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arya's now. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. You allow Arya to protect you like you're her pet? I thought you were a Krogan. Arya let me live. She gave me a position of honor as her advisor. She gave you a position of comfort as her trophy. Is that what you want? Or would you rather go down fighting? I wish she killed me the day she beat me. That would have been a glorious death. But perhaps it is not too late to die well. Perhaps these assassins will remember my name. Farewell, human. And thank you. All right, well. Uh, that was awkward. Master deserved what he got. Ah, oh, good dance. Can we can we stop this? I right, get I guess so. Let's see if there's anyone else to talk to. All right, I guess we're done with this. Let's do let's do some more side mission. I mean, there's more places for us to explore here. It's probably not going to please the guy, but you know, we don't care. I think. Arya wants to speak with you. Something about 
Uh, let's talk to Antonio. Alright, fine. I heard my old friend Patriarch died. Went out in a blaze of glory. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I gave him what you could. The chance to die like a crow. That wasn't your decision to make. His life belonged to me. The Patriarch was dead for centuries. You know that. How he was? I'd almost forgotten he was a Krogan. You gave him the death he deserved. Do you need something else? One scan and we're straight to business? People are usually more concerned Your about death was We've done played, these. But hardly. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but... Omega... This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I'll, I'll look into it. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. What's the catch? No catch. I don't need it, and I don't want it to go to waste. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so... empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her? Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I'd start looking. See, we never asked about this. Sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch it was something different. A powerful friend. I assume you decided he was too strong, even as an ally? No. He cast the first stone. It wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Sounds like you changed the rules and the battlefield. Krogan nature made it easy for us to take advantage. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. The toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. I suppose I still can. Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power. And we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. Interesting, but let's move on. Do you need something else? An Asari fugitive is Wait, what? We have to reset this? I knew it. You haven't taken Why would I? Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. Okay. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. Oh, level 24. My favorite level. Which I can't really do much with. Actually, nobody has any points. Alright, where are we going to go? I don't think it's the apartments. Go to the apartment of her last victim. All right. Well, let's have a look at the journal. Fuck. Well, we can kind of go a little bit down here because we actually, we really didn't actually explore that much over here, so. Well, we're just gonna go chill, I guess. 
and Afterlife. Where all the cool cats go? <laughs> I love that man. There are a ton of Borcha here. Uh, I guess we can buy some of this stuff, because we didn't actually finish this, it just occurred to me. Because it occurred to me that we actually didn't do it, so... We didn't have money at the time. Is that... Shepard? Shepard's supposed to be dead. Greetings! I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Cell. You look like a good person to know. I can see you're trying to flatter me. Don't. Of, of course. Forgive me. You just made me nervous, is all. Friendly faces seem hard to come by around here. Reasonable people are more valuable than air in a place like this. I heard you talking about it. What do you want? Please, please. We're all friends here. There's no need for language of that sort. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course. But it's paying worse. What kind of business do you do? Important business. So important that, with your help, we can change Omega. I'm listening. I'm in the information business. Specifically, the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Merib's shop on the Citadel and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package and bring those packages to me. Good luck, my friend. Fuck. Merib shop on where? That's another fucking planet. Merib shop on the Citadel or Eternity on Ilium. Fuck, we lost. Alright, well. Sometimes you lose. Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago and no one seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I'm looking into your daughter's death. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm working for Arya. Are you ready to answer my questions? I don't care if Arya sent you. You're asking about my nephew. That's what matters. No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Mornth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her, but Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. Once we have all the facts, we'll decide on a course of action. If you find the person that hurt my nephew, you kill her. Or tell me where she is and I'll kill her. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time. To the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed... Tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morand. But her, her face was tired? What? What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. 
She was shy, but she was creative and driven and uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. You mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. She's gone. Thank you. I'm sorry. I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. So what, the, the Paragon action is to touch the disgusting tears? Ew. Read the middle entry. How about the newest? How about the oldest? Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I was sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for secures, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the hallux is flowing through me, the way she looks at me with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal, and she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. She kills with sex, and I have no plans to sleep with her. Perhaps you have a right to be glib, Shepard, but caution is wise here. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds like my kind of a sorry. You joke, Shepard. But for all your might, you will be in great danger. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for fifty years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. You sound like you're working your way toward an idea. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Morinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me. But she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Neff made that. A man from some gallery offered me four years' salary for me. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Alright. Time to go to the VIP section. Actually, let's go over here first. Alright, this is probably more shit here. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. 
Cornax, a titillating alien magazine. Yep, definitely gonna get that. Oh, model cruiser. Because we can just like buy all this. Like, what's the point of not buying it? It's cheap. Sources say that the Asari Shaira, more commonly known as the consort, may be leaving the city. What does he have? Ordnance packs. Spare heavy weapon ammo. This and a hack module. Doubles the time limit for hack. Oh. This is valuable. We definitely need that. Also, I'm running out of credits now. People come to places such as this seeking a better life. And when they get here, they find this. Vibrant people forced into destitution on a world filled with criminals. They deserve protection. If I survive your mission, I knew it. What do you want? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jeru. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. If someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. You must go in alone. Marint will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. Getting her alone, then falling under her sway? That'll require careful timing. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. Okay, what are the things that we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halax. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morinth sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Do you remember everything? We cannot risk any mistakes. Let's get started. Shepard, we only... She said if I had any doubts I should talk to her. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I want... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. What kind of music did they play? They're a sensory band. Like, they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this Asari digs them like you wouldn't believe. I could score way out of my league, you know? You gotta help me. She sounds amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago talking about the band. She's here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. I'm ready to punch someone, and you're too close. Relax, relax. It's cool. I'll step off. Come on, baby. I can don't be like that. I got creds. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. You got a mouth on you. Enjoy watching you use it. The lady asked you to step away. What the hell? I'm just looking for a good time. This isn't your business. <laughs> good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. Sounded like Garrus. 
Also, like, I like how the option was just punch. Hey. Hey! I'll dance next to you. If you want to think we're dancing together, go ahead. I do want to think that. I guess they'll let anybody in here now. No standards anymore. Can you back that up? If we go out to the alley, only one of us comes back in. I'm just trying to have a drink here. No need to get all excited. Damn humans. My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? I know what I like. Do you? <laughs> just a curse. I'm fascinated by just a curse. I'm not. But you're an Asari. You must have some opinion about them. I said I don't want to discuss it. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Halleck? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Porta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Vanya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. Oh, I was going to talk about family. Oh shit, there's a giant croak in here. Uh, what do I do? I was into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better. And he's going to die. Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. Oh, thank God it's just a statue. A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win. Just before you kill him. Ah, oh, oh, that's incredibly creepy. Uh, we need to delay us. All right, you know I have, I have second thoughts, Morris. Surely you don't want to leave. Why don't you come over here? I promise you'll like it. Surely you don't want to leave. Oh. Why don't you come over here? I Red alert. Like it. All right, fine. Have a Halix if uh, you want. I, I can't have mm -hmm. drugs. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted, and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? I'd rather fight than hide. Yes, better to take control of your fate. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. You compare us, but you're nowhere near my league. So strong. I need this. You can 
into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. I'm not the victim you were hoping for. But you... Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Marin. Ugh. Mother. Do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter, mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Morin! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari. But they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. Alright, so... This one is interesting. I remember my first run I, I killed Samara. But Samara actually appears in Mass Effect 3, so I guess what we do... End of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. <laughs> Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now. Show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Let's go. Alright, well. That's pretty much it for that. Is that it? Alright, I don't think there's anything else left for us to do here. Yeah, we did all the VIP stuff. Ah, uh, we got a bazillion credits too. Alright, well, uh, I will run back to the ship, and then next episode we'll uh, talk to her about it, and I, I, I mean, we gotta find that guy's shit, I guess, but yeah. Bye. Intel dropped the ball, sir. And they call me a monster.